looking for volunteer hours that is exciting, action-packed, and where you can show your cheetah pride at the same time, the Vanny Athletics Department is just up your alley. Located in the G Building, the Cheetahs have over 200 student athletes who play various intercollegiate teams such as basketball, soccer, football, flag football, and more. Our job is to ensure that our student athletes and our professional coaching staff get the best experience and season as possible. Our volunteer opportunities can vary from filming game footage for coaches, ball fetching for our soccer games, scorekeeping for volleyball, as well as disinfecting equipment used during the games. If you're interested in doing our volunteer opportunities here at the Athletics Department, come and see me in my office in G134. Hi, my name is Mariah Grant, and I'm a student life advisor here at Vanier College. Um, we're looking to create a volunteer group of students that are looking at interculturalism, so it would be an intercultural student committee. Uh, the goal is really to try to reach out to students who are interested in discussing systemic racism and issues around equity and inclusion on campus and in society. We can't cover it all, so the goal is to really kind of figure out our priorities for the year, figure out one or two topics that we're going to look at, and create focus groups around that where we consult with other students to look at the experiences they're having, the issues that they're seeing come up, and uh, recommendations they'd like to make to the college. We're going to take all of that information and we're going to then take it back to the college to suggest ways that they can change or improve services, academics, so on and so forth on campus with systemic racism and inclusion in mind. The other side of the coin is that we're going to also try to host and support events and awareness activities that are already happening or that we'd like to see happen on campus. Uh, the overall project requires that you be a fairly autonomous and self-directed volunteer. The, the, the project is collaborative and we're going to co-learn uh, about this subject or these issues together and then um, in addition to meeting with me once a month to give you support and guidance uh, volunteers will be working together in smaller groups to try to tackle the issues on their own and present recommendations and ideas together so it's a combination of autonomous independent work in small groups and working in collaboration with myself as your student life advisor if this is something that you think really speaks to you or you want to know more about, you can reach out to me by Mayo or send me an email. But if you know 100% that's it, I'm in, you really like would like to do this, there's a link at the bottom of this presentation where you can go and sign up already. Everything is up and ready for you to do so. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome to Vanier. My name is Giovanna and I, along with my colleague, Brandon, run VTV. VTV stands for Vanier Television and we are your number one source to everything Vanier. Make sure to follow us on our social media accounts to stay up to date with Vanier news, events and some plain old fun entertainment. Our most active accounts are on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. We are currently looking for volunteers. And as much as Brandon and I enjoy doing videos, I'm pretty sure you and your fellow classmates would rather watch videos that are by students, for students. And this is an opportunity for you to be part of something bigger. Students who volunteer with us get to meet pretty distinguished guests, interact with other students on campus, and have the liberty to create their own content. There's a chance to write scripts, film, edit videos, and do little skits. You can check out our YouTube page for an idea of other videos that we've done in the past. As most of Vanier's fall 2020 semester will be virtual, we need to increase our online content as much as possible. And we can't do this without your participation. So, go to this link to get involved. And, once again, 
follow, follow, follow in order to be part of Vanity's larger community. Looking forward to meeting you. How to volunteer to be a note taker. Vanity College's access services support students with disabilities and assist with the organization of various accommodations, including note taking. Note taking is offered to students who are unable to take class counts as a result of their disability. What does a note taker do? Note takers simply share their personal lecture notes with a classmate. Step one, log into Omnibox. Fill in the mandatory survey asking you if you want to be a note taker. Step two, wait. All students that are chosen will be sent to Maya with the classes they're chosen for. Step three, once chosen, just sign the contract and follow the given instructions. Step four, take notes every single class. Step five, send the notes to the student you're matched with within 48 hours of each class. Why would you want to be a note taker? Volunteer note takers play an important role in supporting students with disabilities achieve their academic goals. It's been shown that note taking improves your academic performance. Volunteering can add depth to your resume and help you get noticed by universities and potential employers. Volunteering as a note taker qualifies you for STAR hours. Search the Vanya site to find out more about the STAR program and how it works. At the end of the year, you'll receive a personalized letter of acknowledgement from the coordinator of student services. So many benefits for doing what you are already doing for your own classes. For any questions, just send a Mayo to Elizabeth Kaffenbeck. We're here at the Vanya Gardens. I'm Rosemary. And I'm Isabel. And we're the co-coordinators of the Vanya Gardens. Therefore, you can find us on campus. So if that's what interests you to find a place to volunteer on campus, um, you should definitely consider us. You, um, should, you would have to commit for a um, two, three hour session first. Um, if you realize that this is not your cup of tea, you don't have to commit, you don't have to come back. But we would love you to come back for the whole semester or even the whole year. Okay. Here at the gardens, we take our responsibilities very strongly. Aside from the gardening essentials such as watering, weeding, fertilizing, pruning, we always hang out, have a good time, enjoy some nice tea, thank you. And we treat our volunteers very well. Mm. It's very good tea. We have a lot of work needed to be done in our fruit forest behind me here. We certainly could use some volunteers to help us improve the biodiversity of campus turning our otherwise unproductive green lawn into a beautiful fl blooming fruit and nut orchard, as well as helping closing down the garden at the end of the year. We would like to emphasize that even if you don't have a green thumb, there's room for you at the gardens. If you're a filmmaker, an actor, a musician, a artist, a photographer, um, we'll find work for you, no worries. And also, it's a lot of fun. If you want to meet new people, make new friends, uh, get a beautiful suntan, burn a whole lot of calories, <laughs> well, this is the place for you. Soon. <laughs> Why are you still filming? <laughs> Hello all, welcome to the virtual insider booth here at the Volunteer Fair. My name is Mel and I'm the Editor-in-Chief. I'm Sophie, the Assistant Editor. And we're here to talk to you a bit about the Insider, also known as Vanier's Student Newspaper. So this is a newspaper created by students for students and consider it as a platform where you can, you, where you can vocalize your opinions. Um, so, under normal circumstances, we would have print issues coming out about once a month, and we have our office space, which hopefully the new students will be able to use sometime in the future. We have several different sections, such as the art sections, section for poetry, photography, and other artwork, the uh, voices section for personal essays, and new sections for articles and um, other relevant topical pieces, as well as a features section for either biographies 
or other things that wouldn't fit in any of the other categories. Yeah, so that being said, we're not going to have a physical issue this time around. We're mostly going to be operating online and we're going to have a PDF link to the future issues, which should be made available through our website and shared through Omnibox. Our As website for, is feeinsider.ca and um, we post uh, articles one by one every day and the links will be available on our Facebook page, VCSA um, Insider as well as our Instagram, also VCSA Insider. Um, so follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and we will also be posting weekly news prompts, uh, writing prompts, so that you can be more interactive with us this, this semester than the following semesters. Yeah, so that being said, through our social medias, we're gonna try to create some workshops and have some contests, so keep an eye open for those. As for how you can get involved, we always need new writers, whether they be news writers, um, someone to write an opinion piece, or even artists. Um, we also need help with copy editing and for the layout of the general, of the actual paper. So don't hesitate to reach out to us for that. Um, that would be through our email address, studentnewspaper at vanniercollege.qc.ca. Of course, if you choose to give your time towards this project, uh, you will be compensated through a program called star hours essentially if you accumulate a certain amount of volunteer hours then it could be made visible on your transcript and it's useful for your cv especially since we publish online uh, you can always copy paste those links to your articles and show them to um, future employers or even for cv uh, for uh, university applications so Thanks that's it time. <laughs> yeah, that's it for us, and don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. Hello, we're recruiting volunteers for the West Montreal Readaptation Centre, the WMRC, which is an installation of the Montreal West Island Integrated University Health and Social Services Centre, the IUHSSC. We are a rehabilitation center providing services for clients of all ages who are living with intellectual disabilities, autism spectrum disorder, and physical disabilities. We need volunteers to help with our clients of all ages, adults, teenagers, and children, for two hours a week or every two weeks, to visit clients in the community, to go on outings together, to plan activities like crafts, games, and exercise, and to help their families. Our clients live mostly in the West Island, but we also have some in the Montreal area too. So, if you have a special skill to share and are looking for meaningful ways to contribute to our community, then contact us and learn more about the opportunities that we have available. Thanks. Bonjour, merci de nous accueillir pour parler du programme Jeunesse engagée. Le bénévolat est une expérience enrichissante pour apprendre et développer des compétences en plus d'être un vecteur de changement social. Si les enjeux de la justice sociale et du développement communautaire vous intéressent, Jeunesse engagée est pour vous. Notre programme consiste à accompagner les jeunes âgés de 15 à 30 ans à se joindre ou à créer un projet social pour répondre à des besoins d'une communauté. Bien que le programme Jeunesse engagée est chapeauté par le Centre communautaire LGBTQ+, de Montréal, nous invitons les personnes de toutes les identités et de toutes les communautés à se joindre à nous. L'ouverture et l'inclusion sont des valeurs fondatrices du programme. Au cours de l'année 2019 et 2020, des projets de création de podcasts, bandes dessinées, de groupes de soutien et des rassemblements étudiants ont eu lieu pour aider les populations LGBTQ+, et des communautés asiatiques de Montréal. Pour que vous ayez une expérience optimale au cours de votre implication sociale, nous offrons aussi des formations sur les enjeux sociaux et sur les compétences socioprofessionnelles. Par exemple, l'an passé, nous avons offert des formations sur le racisme systémique, les enjeux de la santé mentale, 
la réduction des méfaits de l'usage des drogues, la diversité du genre et de la sexualité et d'autres sujets pertinents. Nous organisons aussi des rencontres communautaires dont le repas est fourni pour les jeunes. Ces repas communautaires sont idéaux pour créer un réseau social solidaire et partager les expériences. Les participants et les participantes sont accompagnés par deux coordonnateurs ayant une expertise en gestion de projets et en intervention. Ils sont disponibles pour faciliter la conception de projets et pour donner un soutien selon les besoins de la personne participante. La participation à Jeunesse engagée est aussi une excellente alternative pour les personnes qui désirent obtenir de l'expérience professionnelle en lien avec leur programme d'études ou avec leur domaine d'intérêt. À la fin du projet, les participants auront une certification qui souligne la reconnaissance de son application ainsi que les formations suivies. Cette certification est un excellent atout à inclure dans un CV. Alors, si tu es toujours intéressé à te joindre à nous dans l'aventure du bénévolat, n'hésite pas à nous contacter. In Quebec, one in ten families must choose between having a place to call home or paying for food, childcare, education, or reliable transportation. Well, Habitat for Humanity Quebec brings attention to the important, safe, and affordable housing issues families are facing within the province by raising a hammer on our construction sites, volunteering in our social enterprise, the Restore, or in our offices in St. Henri. Every volunteer plays a valuable part in supporting their local Habitat chapter. Habitat for Humanity Quebec, a registered charity, has been pursuing its mission in Quebec since 1999, allowing home ownership for 35 families, which is up to up to 169 people, including 107 children in the Montreal, Estrie, Lower Laurentian, and Montérégie regions. Affiliated with their International Habitat for Humanity organization, Habitat for Humanity Quebec's mission is to mobilize volunteers, partners, and communities to build affordable housing and to promote home ownership as a means to breaking the cycle of poverty. By selling these homes to lower income families with no down payment required and a mortgage that covers two thirds of the house without any interest, Habitat for Humanity helps provide the stability needed to improve family members' health, children's education, and their overall quality of life. Volunteer opportunities are available in the following roles and locations. Construction workers in the Southwest of Montreal, no construction experience is required. Minimum age is 18. Sales assistant at Restore saint Henri and Restore Montreal North, your minimum age is 16. Habitat Quebec office, various roles dependent on necessity and the minimum wage is also 16. To register your interest, sign up to receive alerts on the Habitat Quebec website at www.habitatqc.ca under the Volunteer tab, or email them at benefit at habitatqc.ca to find out more. Hello, we're recruiting volunteers for the Siege SLD Dennis Benjamin Vijay which is an installation of Montreal West Island Integrated University Health and Social Services Center, the IUHSSC. We are a long-term care residence situated in Il Bazard and housing 125 seniors living with physical health and cognitive challenges. We're looking for caring and compassionate volunteers to visit our seniors. We'll match you up with someone who shares the same interests, whether that's history, crafts, cards, sing-alongs, exercises, going on walks, tea times, games, painting nails, bingo and parties, and social events. We offer flexible schedules, starting with two hours a week or every two weeks. So if you have a special skill to share and are looking for meaningful ways to connect with the aging population of your community, and you enjoy spending time with seniors who have physical and cognitive challenges, then contact us and see what we have available.
Thanks. Welcome to WIA, the West Island Association for the Intellectually Handicapped. WIA is a volunteer-driven, non-profit organization that works to increase opportunities for individuals with intellectual disabilities or autism, strengthen their families, and sensitize the community. Based in the West Island and founded in 1958, WIA is one of the largest non-profit community organizations in the Greater Montreal area, and we have services and programs that range from birth until old age and everything in between. Some of WIA's services includes a specialized preschool, a daycare integration program, a babysitting referral agency, an after-school program for teenagers, a weekend program for respite. We also have a Seniors Day program, a residence for adults, and a multitude of family resources, including information sessions, support groups, lots of family socials. And then we also have a multitude of recreational activities happening in the evenings, on weekends, and day camps and sleepaways in the summer. Volunteers at WIA are essential to the success of our programs and services. You can volunteer at WIA in many different ways. For example, if you feel like getting involved with one of our recreation programs, you could help out with the cooking program or maybe a swimming program, or for example, join us on our outings in the community on the weekends. If working with seniors is more your jam, you might want to get involved with the Active Action Seniors Day program. If you're a volunteer who's looking for sporadic or occasional volunteering, WIA also has a multitude of special events that we're always looking for extra hands to get involved to make it a smashing success. If you choose to volunteer at WIA, we can guarantee that you'll meet some amazing people, develop lifelong friendships, have a blast, and truly know that you're making a world of difference. If you're interested in volunteering or getting involved with WIA, please contact Tamara at volunteer at wiaih.qc.ca. We can't wait to have you here with us. and I'm the recruitment coordinator at the Fraser Hickson Institute. So I'm responsible for recruiting volunteers to join our mini Biblio Plus project. So the mission of our project is to instill in children a lifelong love of reading and learning from birth and to enable free access to books and animation services. So we're always looking for more story time animator volunteers. So if you're passionate about literacy and reading to children, feel free to reach out to learn more. And we're also always looking for more book delivery volunteers and library shelving volunteers to help here in our library. So to learn more information, feel free to check out our website at minibiblioplus.org or give us a call at 514-872-0517. Thank you.